Yo, it's L. Oh, so this is a fight against Ganon. Ooh, okay. <sighs> do I do this? Alright, well... This is a final boss. I'm just, You know what? I'm just gonna go in with what I have now. I don't really want to save it in case I have to do the castle again. So, uh... Spider-Man, Sweater-Man, in here. Fighting Ganon. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> yeah, freak. I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Agnet. Oh, it's his alter ego. Because I was always like, why did they never bring that guy back? But he's his alter ego. Okay, that makes sense. I had honestly never knew that. Okay, Ganon. Yeah, little... F <laughs> it's words I can't call you on YouTube. You ready to die? Because I'll kill you. Yeah, you take that damage. Isn't this guy supposed to be, like, super difficult? I, I say that, like, he... I know he's probably gonna, like, do something wild. He's probably just gonna blow up the screen. I was like, oh, you died? You didn't know he's gonna blow up the world? Oh, oh. He's got... Fireballs? I want fireballs. I want a flame cloak. Oh, your bats can't hit me because they suck like you do. You know what? I don't fall for your tricks, man. Ow, ow. Your bats suck. You know what? I'm gonna just go all out. I don't care. Did these hurt him? What? I died? Just like that? Well, you're gonna die once again, Ganon, obviously. Okay. I don't give... I don't care. Now we're gonna fight now. I'm gonna take you out, man. I gotta keep an eye on my health as well. Yeah, it's already beeping. Ooh. I gotta stay away from those bats and stuff. Okay. So I just need life medicine. You know what? I got the cape. Ah, should not have done that. Oh, yeah, he keeps summoning them. Ah. No, it can't be over this easy. <sighs> I refuse to die so easily. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bats. What? This is pretty wild. Okay. This is pretty intense. Not gonna lie. This is wild, man. What the heck? Oh, I don't have any healing items now. Oh.
Wow. Wow. Like... There's no way I'm gonna get enough money again to just... I guess I'm gonna have to play, like, super safe. It's like, even if I come in here with full health, that's not even gonna help me. I gotta stop trying to charge spin attacks, too. Yeah. Okay, so he gets his little firepower. Now they're going to turn into bats. He's got his firepower again. Okay. Oh, can I hit him with an arrow while he's like that? One more hit and I'm done. Oh, man. This is, like, insane. Like, what do I do? Like, I don't know how to beat his flaming birds, or flaming bats. Like, there's no backup. Like, I'm not getting more money. So, yeah, like, I'm not getting any more money. So I can't buy any more potions or anything. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Like, this is a boss fight, but, like, there's no way for me to heal. There's... I can't... Like, see, he just teleported it on me. Can I hit him straight on with an arrow? Like, I don't even know if that'll hurt him. No, long shot's not gonna hurt him. Wow. I've got an idea. Hear me out. I noticed before I could throw a bottle in. So, what happens if I throw bottles in? I thought she'd give me a fairy ma- Wait, 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 wait. I've got an idea. Oh, I've got an idea. Oh, man, okay. Since I... We can't beat Ganon, because I suck. What we're going to do... Is... Just nuke him. <laughs> I'm just gonna use, like, all the magic power attacks. And if he survives... That strategy's over. <laughs> and I'll have to think of something else. Trying to think, like, what else do I do? Yeah, like, I, there's nowhere to just get free red potions. So then, yeah, I'm just gonna go in and just use, like, the medallions to try to just take this dude out. Because that's like, 
I got pretty far with a red and a blue potion, but then he just got like mental and just destroyed me. So like, oh, damn, man, this this is a boss fight. There's okay. There's got to be something there on the left. She's holding up on something. Turn up the audio. I'm trying to see if maybe... No. Okay. I was hoping that there would be a way through. Hmm. Because, like, if that's a fairy fountain... Can I, like, do this? No. Unless, like, is there another way through or something? Nah, okay. Well, let's try the blow getting up with magic techniques attack. I don't know. I don't know. Shut up. <sighs> I don't know what to do, man. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We get it. You're you. And I'm me. And you're gonna throw stuff at me. Whoa. Okay, so now we got him to this point. So I forgot what all the moves do. Does that hurt Ganon? That doesn't hurt Ganon? What was the point of getting all this stuff? My strategy is ruined. <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute. The blue cane is helping. <gasps> did I find a way to defeat him? Yes, I did. That's right, Ganon. My body may be weak, but my brain isn't. <sighs> Can't believe this works. This is ridiculous. I got him running scared. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I don't have magic now. Oh, if he hits me with anything, though, I'm, like, dead. <sighs> okay. So it's a good strategy, though. We know that that works. Oh. But, like, I don't have... I have a hundred dollars. I could try to get another potion. No, that's not what I meant to throw in. Huh. Yeah, because... I don't know. 
Let's try this strategy one more time. Because I did use the medallions a bunch, and that didn't really help. And I don't need to use that thing the whole time. Like, I don't need to use my magic the whole time. I can hit him a bunch, and then when he's doing the fire and stuff, I, I don't really have to worry. And then, yeah, like, after he says, oh, this technique thing, then I should hopefully have two bottles then. And then, uh... And then I'll have two bottles of green, and that should hopefully last. At the very least, I can at least play out the boss fight so I know what to expect. Hey, I went the wrong way. Okay, there it is. So the, I can know I can use the blue cane, need be. Still, though, like, if I could just get here. Because there wouldn't be anything I could do to, like... Yeah. There's nothing here. That's weird. What? Wait, why did this, like, glitch out? That was weird. I was gonna say, like, if I can't get back now, then... What the heck? Am I even close to Fairy Fountain? Ugh. I'm gonna go to a Fairy Fountain. I might as well. So that way, at least I'm at full health. So I'll take these dudes out. Okay. So I'll go here, heal quick. I'm just trying to remember how much the potions are. Nah, whatever. Um, so now we do this. And... I'm trying to listen. I know there's some fairy fountains where there's some... There's like some loose fairies. But I'm trying to remember which ones, like where I could teleport. First off, I need to get somewhere. I'm trying to remember where, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that for now. Sometimes one spawns over here. Okay, well, I will not worry about trying to find loose fairies right now. Like, I'm one heart short of having full health. But that's, I feel like that, like, one more heart isn't really going to make much of a difference. Okay. Oh, I got hit? Seriously? Can't believe I got hit. And there's like nothing over here? Because I'm trying, like I'm looking at that and I'm thinking like... 
there's got to be some way in there. Unless that's like where you come out after fighting Ganon or something. No, nah, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so first thing is where's my net? Okay. So now I have a fairy in a bottle. Got the cane equipped. I'm feeling good. Like, this is just crazy, though. That fight against Ganon, like, you gotta be prepared, man. Like, you gotta know what you're doing in this Ganon fight before you even fight him. Oh, I'm back. That's great. Everything you said is great. Okay, so I gotta take my time. I gotta be strategic. Ooh. Okay, now he's starting to use a fire. So he's not gonna throw his spear yet. But the bats are gonna come at me. So I can get in quick with a hit or two. Okay. And now the bats. Now they expand. Oh man, I gotta be more careful. Oh, damn. So he goes sort of all over the place, doesn't he? I'm assuming if I'm in his way, that'll damage me. Okay, now he's starting to cause part of the map to fall apart. Ooh. I have a fairy. So, like, those bats, man, they're dangerous. Ooh, careful, careful. Don't I have a fairy? Here we go. Please give me full health. No, oh, what? So there's still another part of this fight after he says, oh, th like this darkness technique on guard and then. <sighs> yeah, see, he says that. Holy man, like this is just ridiculous. Oh! Okay. Oh, I was so close! Oh, come on, hit him. Oh, I was close! Damn, man. Oh. So, where are there fairy fountains where I can get fairies? I wonder if a fairy will always spawn off that tree. Now, I'm wondering if I should get a second fairy. But yo, I was close, man. Is there like a closer fairy fountain or something? Oh. 
Like, I don't feel like having to go all the way out there every time. Oh, like this is intense. Okay, now I got some money. See how much it is. Oh, for the blues, 160 for blue. 120 for red. You know what, though? What? There we go. I am gonna buy this potion. And then... Well, I need to head back anyways. Just hoping I could have found a closer fairy fountain or something. Because, like, that fight was just crazy, man. Like, I was close. I got him to turn blue and I hit him with an arrow. So, you know, whatever that means. I don't know if that's good or bad, but, you know, that's how close I got. Ooh, don't want bees. Yeah, I'm not gonna go anywhere too far. Ah, not the bees, man. Okay, let's... I mean, let's try this again. What choice do we have, really? This is crazy. Like, between this and last video, like, th this is still, for me, just one big video. So I had an hour and 24 minutes, like, for just one, this one video. Okay. I'm at full health. I have a full health potion. Um, let's see how far I can make it. Also, actually... Right before we do that, I want to make sure I have full, like, everything I can. So those arrows didn't come in handy as much as I thought they would. Like, I thought I could just shoot him with arrows. But it looks like it has to be, like, when he turns blue, then I shoot him. Because he turned that color, and I was like, I just remember the silver arrows. So it's like, okay, I switched, and then I shot him. So I don't know how many times I gotta do that. I imagine it's probably like six or seven. So like, oh, there's seven maidens. So that's how many arrows you gotta hit Ganon with. Oh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So let's try this again. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a magic cape in case I need it. Okay, okay. So now he's gonna teleport somewhere. Why did that not hit him? Ah, oh, that hit me twice! Okay. Got some good shots in him there. So yeah, so that's going to expand. So I can get a stab in on him. Ooh. Okay, got some more hits on him. It's just like slowly I got to make sure that like I can hit him. Ah. 
Ah. Whatever, just take those hits for now. Whoo. Seriously? Just like that? It's like, I feel like you just can't win. You know what I mean? Like, I know obviously you can beat him and stuff. But like, it just... He's a good boss in, in the sense that it's like, yeah, like you just feel like, man. <laughs> he's just cheap and stuff. But yeah, this, this is a boss fight, man. We're getting close to like an hour and a half of just playing this. Ugh, just a half hour of fighting Ganon. Okay, going back to trying to be careful. Oh, still got hit by those bats. Okay, from down here is a good angle because when he shoots the bats, there's like a little bit of lag. Ow, I can sort of get by. Okay, can get three hits on him like that. So I'll just get an extra one in. <sighs> I hate this teleporting nonsense and that stuff too. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, like this part's just ridiculous. Like, why was my sword not doing any damage to him? Well, he was like that. Gotta hit him. It's like he's way too fast like that, man. Wow, like this is mental. He's way too fast. Like w the minute I light the stuff up, he puts his cape up, but then there's no way to hit him. This is just getting annoying. Hmm. I wonder what happened if I threw in like a red bottle. Also, can I just, like, jump out here? Like, come down. Knock the fairy loose. <sighs> Why is it running away? Okay. And now what I do... Is I come in here... So I need another green one. What happens if I throw in a red one? Will she turn it blue? Hmm. So get another green one. <sighs> like this is crazy man I like I 
I don't even know if I should just get, like, blue potions, but even then, like, that's a lot of money. It's like close to 700 rupees that I'll need. Yes, the fairy came out. Okay, so I may be able to load up on fairies there as well. <sighs> but at least I know, okay, I can come here and heal. I know it's a bit late to learn all this stuff now, but... <sighs> okay... Just please, just let me... Just kill this freak. Okay, now he throws it. Okay, there we go. I'm getting just more shots in. And switch to the cape in case I need it. Hmm. Where is he going to go next? Here? Oh. <sighs> this is a good boss fight though, but like it is difficult. Like this is a part where I should definitely use this. Gonna make sure I hit him. <sighs> no, it's like every little second counts. It's like the minute he appears, you gotta hit him. Oh. <sighs> now switch back to this because I know I'm gonna need it. No, oh, come on. Oh, come on! I hit him! It was supposed to be over. Oh, it's because of stupid fire nonsense stuff. Mm. Come on. I had him. You know what? It's still not over. This is like insane. Like what happens if you were to run out of magic? Like you would just lose and die. Wait, I beat Ganon. Oh, it's over. Oh God, it's over. Oh, is it over? Like, I'm shaking. Like, oh my god. Oh. 
as the lights fade in that room. Oh, wow. I like how I saw the ending cinematic in the first video and... Wow. Welcome, Al. I'm the essence of the Triforce. Oh, man. Man, it's over. Wow. Now that was a boss fight. Oh, wow, man. Now that was a game. And that was a boss fight. Oh, so it took four hits of the silver arrow. Arrows, whatever. Four silver arrows. But uh, we didn't. Oh, it's over. The Legend of Zelda, a Link to the Past, down. That's one qu uh, crossed off the Zelda list, man. Okay, and I guess now we would just get into my final thoughts and everything. Oh, that was that was a lot. I don't know if any of this part's getting cut out or not. Uh, I. We'll, we'll get into what I think about the game. I just want to enjoy the cinematic. Oh, now you've totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. So did I destroy the dark world? The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. I know there's a part... Like, after this, in the cinematics, where it starts to show, like, the people and the different locations. Because, yeah, like, I did the speed run in the first video. The Return of the King, I made a joke about that and stuff, but... Yeah, like, now actually going through, having played the game, it's like... You know, like, now I know, okay, those are the Maidens, that's Hyrule Castle. This was a sanctuary where the guy died. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was going to be like a uh, double agent or whatever, and he wasn't. So, like, I know like I know it says at the bottom, Kakariko Town. But, like, just playing through, like, you know, remembering how I got the, uh, the flying the warp thing. Remembering this, the desert palace. Oh, man. Yeah, now, so I'm only missing, what, like, four heart pieces, and technically I didn't upgrade my bombs and arrows all the way, but I think I got everything else. Might be missing a shield upgrade or something, but... It's weird, it's crazy, because, like, your uncle recovers, like, watching this now, it, like, means something. Flippers for sale. I like this ending cinematic. Sora's waterfall. I do like, especially Ocarina of Time when like it shows you everything and all the people and stuff. Oh, but man, the, I would say this was a, a challenging game. Getting used to the fact that it, you know, it's an NES game, S NES game from I believe '91. So it, it has its limits. It's dated in a sense, but you know what? It still felt solid and stuff, man. Flute Boy. Yeah, yo, this. Who? We'll see where this ranks. Venus, Queen of Fairies, and the Wishing Well. That's her name, Venus, Queen of Fairies. Oh. I, I honestly can't believe that A Link to the Past, it's over. So before we get into my final thoughts, I want to talk about what I would change. Let's just say that I'm in charge of remaking this game. These are a few things that I would change that I feel would make the game a little bit better. Now, there isn't really anything major I would change. Remember, this game came out 1991, 1992, so it was in development in 1990. They made games differently back then, so I do have to keep that in mind. But given the age of the game, it's still pretty surprising that the only things I would change are very minor. For example, 
Water and ice, it's a little bit annoying to move in. Ice, very frustrating to move in. Water could be a little bit annoying. What I would do is, there was a few times where there would be ice or water in a doorway. And it'd be like really hard to get into that door. Like, just don't don't put in the doorways. Don't make narrow paths I have to go through in water to get to the next map or whatever. Because it felt like I had to be pixel perfect. For There was a boss fight where they covered the floor in ice. So for boss fights or stuff like that, I can understand. But when it's just like, I need to get in this door. And it's so annoying. Like, you don't need that. So fix that. The other thing would be the Helmosaur King. That boss. Oh, I feel like that was the hardest boss in the game. And I wouldn't say make it easier necessarily. I would... But just to smash his mask, like to break it off, I would just make that probably a little bit easier. Like if you could rush into him. I think I used the hammer, but I don't know. It felt like it just stopped working or I had to do it multiple times. So instead I used the bombs, like just that whole mask thing. Like just make that a little bit easier. You can even keep the second part the same. And the only other boss fight, the Mothula, the boss fight, that moth, and there was like spikes on the ground and stuff, like, just get rid of the moving ground. That's it. You can still have the spikes moving around, like the little ball spikes on the ground. Maybe not have so many move or make them a bit slower, but the moving floor, just shut up, just get rid of it. You don't need it. And the other thing, damage. When I got to the Dark World... It was just like everything was just doing a lot of damage. and Maybe it's because of the age of the game or how they used to make games more challenging because they're like, oh, it'll take longer to beat so people get more playtime or whatever. But it, I wouldn't make it that once you get to the Dark World, bosses, enemies, everything does such insane damage. Like, I would probably just say, okay, starting at the Dark World, all the enemies do 50% damage or something. Just because it's like, it's frustrating sometimes where if you're just in a room of enemies, you can just get defeated pretty easily. And I don't know, it's just like, why why do just simple enemies have to do three or four hearts of damage? Like, I get people are like, oh, just travel around in the light world. But still, it's like, I don't know, like, I shouldn't be able to, I feel like Link shouldn't be taken out by like two or three dudes that easily. But that's just me. But I think that sort of ties in with, like, the heart drops. Like, you, you can defeat an enemy called an anti-fairy with fairy powder, and it'll turn into a fairy, which will heal you. I'm not saying make more enemies like that, but maybe most enemies, even half the enemies, if you could defeat them with, a certain item or you just have an item that if you defeat an enemy with it maybe they'll drop hearts like if i beat a lionel with the hammer for example maybe he will always drop a heart just because i felt like i shouldn't have to go buy potions all the time i shouldn't go out of my way to fairy fountains between things to heal like it just felt as if i got a lot of money which was good but as you saw by the end of the game i ran out of potions and I didn't really have much money and then it's like it, and same with like the magic meter and the, the fight against Ganon like I was I even said like what happens if you run out like you just die so that's I think yeah like that's pretty much everything I change and again this is a super Nintendo game and I feel like the flaws in this game impacted my enjoyment of the game the least in comparison to the other games I've been playing in my Zelda quest <laughs> like this game is at this point what like about 30 over 30 years old and I've had I more problems with Tears of the Kingdom than I did this game All right, so final thoughts of A Link to the Past. Uh, like I said, this is the first Zelda game where its flaws 
were the least impacting to my enjoyment of the game, at least in terms of my Zelda quest. And at first, like, honestly, I thought this was going to be an easy game. I'm going to blow through it. I'm going to see things that were referenced in other Zelda games. Be like, oh, yeah, this was a solid entry. And um, I haven't done the ranking yet, but I thought, like, oh, I, I'd probably rank it at least in the middle or whatever. So we'll get to that next. But, uh, yeah, like, the amount of items, the exploration... The dungeon design, the boss fights, like, all of it, honestly, was great. Like, <laughs> I know there was a few boss fights, especially the Helmosaur King, where I was getting so mad and stuff, but it, it was a challenging game, and like I said, I thought it was going to be easy, but no, like, it was a very, I wouldn't say very challenging, it was a challenging game, but it was very satisfying and rewarding when... Like finally beat it. Like my hands were shaking. It was just like wow. Like it's, it's over. But um, honestly, it, like the exploration too just felt like anywhere I went, I was rewarded with an item, a new path, a heart piece, something. Like I enjoyed exploration in this game more than the rest of my Zelda Quest games, which is weird. But honestly, like I. I know it's small, it's, you know, it's not as grand as Tears and Breath, but it's it's tight. <laughs> it's small, it's tight, it's nice. I, I like it, I love it, and honestly, like, it... I know that there's still stuff that I'm missing. Like, I can look back at this game, like, I, at Hyrule, I mean, in this game, and it, I still have, like, a sense of mystery about, like, there's gotta be stuff that I miss. Like, I wanna go back and play this game some more it's it's fun it's great like i think the items were great every item had a use and seeing how you could use certain items on certain enemies it just felt like no matter where you were in the game all of your weapons and items were relevant in some way which was great like zelda games usually do that pretty well but sometimes it's like oh okay this sort of falls by the wayside later but Really liked how it was done here, and the music. So I actually have it listed here. Fun fact, A Link to the Past was the first Zelda game to have Zelda's Lullaby, the Fairy Fountain theme, and Hyrule Castle theme music. I did not know that, but yeah, like it's it's just cool. It'd be like just playing the game where those three songs were first like debuted. Like normally when I play games... I, <laughs> I play with, like, the audio usually, usually off or very low because I just put something on in the background, most of the time just music, but I can't do that on a channel, so it's nice because Zelda games and, like, this game is no different. The music's always good. It's never distracting. It fits the atmosphere. It sets the tone, so music, good. Like I said, everything was good, great, but, uh, but yeah, honestly, though... One of the best things about this game was the help that I got from subscribers. Kien, 9001, Hell's Demon, 8001, as well as everybody else who commented, my friend Phil. Like, it was... Honestly, getting help from subscribers and my friend will probably be my favorite memory of this game. Because, like, it's such a surreal feeling. Like, I just started this channel because I wanted something to do, and when I saw that the Wii U menu, the Wii U shop was closing down, and there was these Zelda games I haven't played, and it's just nice because other people are watching, people are commenting, and it's like, it's just, like I said, it's so surreal, I just never expected that to happen, even when I was uploading the games and playing, so, yeah, like, that's something that's just, even if that continues or doesn't continue for the rest of the Zelda games or any other games or whatever, like, it will still be a special memory to be like, that's when it first happened or the only time it happened or whatever. But it just, that added, like that took what I felt was a good, great, solid game and just made it something a little bit more special to me. And I know in my first video, I did the speed run and, you know, the ending cinematic is playing and I'm joking around or whatever. But it was nice to this time to actually watch it and remember like, oh, I was over here and I did this or this happened or 
I went there and uh, I got this item, whatever. And it's you do get that in Zelda games, but it was just nice. And it was like, I didn't want this game to end. For the first time in a long time, it was a video game that I played where I was happy I beat it. But I wasn't happy it was over. And yeah, Link to the Past, you know, I've already speed ran it at this point. I already played through it. I beat it. I'm missing four heart pieces, so maybe not this fo file, the one that I played. I'll probably start a new file, 100% it, whatever, but on camera, off camera, I'm going to play A Link to the Past again. Um, yeah, I. this was such a great game. It was a fun experience, aside from the Helmosaur King boss fight. Even Ganon. By the end, I wasn't really mad. I was just like, okay, developing strategies. And I'm like, oh, you know, like, what should I do? Can I use this? Can I do that? And, like, it was fun. And for me, like, just even outside of Zelda, like, this is a great game. Like, if you've got a chance to play this, you got to play it. Like, even if you're not a Zelda fan, just in terms of, like, great games... It's aged very well, and if you're a Zelda fan, like, to me, A Link to the Past best defines what a Zelda game is. Like, you know what? Let's get to the ranking, because honestly, like, I'm curious as to where this is going to go and how this affects the ranking. Alright, so... Let's get to ranking A Link to the Past. So here's what we're going to do. Now this list isn't necessarily me saying this is the best Zelda game, the second best one, whatever. It's just the ones that I liked the most. Minish Cap, you could even say that like I didn't really like it. And I would say the same thing. Oracle of Ages, you know what? I feel like Tears of the Kingdom was a better... Breath of the Wild. So I can easily move them down. Um, some of these I have to replay, but honestly, Breath of the Wild, Minish Cap. I don't see myself really replaying those games. Um, Oracle of Ages, I, I would say... I could replay it. Tears of the Kingdom, I really liked it. I don't know, I feel like it just sort of falls down the list more and more. I'd have to replay Oracle of Ages, but uh, I don't know. The more I look back on Tears, it's like it was fun and stuff. I, I it's crazy, I know, but um, but see now we got to figure out. Here's here's where it gets crazy, okay? Twilight Princess or a Link to the Past? I have to replay Twilight Princess. What if I was to... Okay, let's, let's start at the top. A Link to the Past, Ocarina of Time. I'd have to go with Ocarina of Time. Like, if you're a Zelda game out there and I haven't played you yet, odds are you're not going to crack, I'd say, the top three that easy. You, in fact, you could just say you're not even going to take the number one spot. But, you know, we never know. People love Wind Waker, Skyward Sword. You know, maybe it'll win me over. Link's Awakening, a Link, uh, you know, I love Link's Awakening. More than Majora's Mask, I feel like that could fluctuate, but... Oracle of Seasons or Twilight Princess? You know what? Here's the thing, though. Okay, so... Oracle of Ages or A Link to the Past? Ooh. See, these are the real questions. You know, I don't care. It's like, oh, you know, I went to school and I read a science book. It's like, nah, man. This, this might be the biggest challenge I've, I've come across in regards to this channel. Is If someone was to ask me personally, do I think Oracle of Ages is better than A Link to the Past? Or is A Link to the Past better than... Oracle of Seasons, which one did I like more? Oh, it's, I mean, Oracle of Seasons had seasons. A Link to the Past, you don't even go to the past. Oh, but 
Oracle of Seasons is so much fun. I, I can see there being some back and forth, maybe. Maybe when I got a chance to replay Oracle of Seasons. Stuff might change. Ooh. Is that even allowed? So my top 10 list of Zelda games so far, Ocarina of Time, Link's Awakening, Majora's Mask, A Link to the Past, Oracle of Seasons, Twilight Princess, Oracle of Ages, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, The Minish Cap. Oh man, it's what kills me is like two to five. Those are the ones where it's like... It's hard and it, it's close and you know you're you're living on the edge of that point it's life or death like I get it Twilight Princess I have played recently at a friend's the the intro is just it's just annoying to get out of that village Now that I'm holding it against the game I I do want to replay it You got seasons here I I don't know I'm I am happier with A Link to the Past at 4 than I am at 5. But Oracle of Seasons. Oh. There's four different seasons, so it's varied. You know what, though? But A Link to the Past, it was just the right amount of challenge. There's still some stuff that has to be done, at least for me, in it. And I can definitely go back. I can definitely play it again. Learn new things. You know what? That's... that's. I think we're going to go with that. I think a link to the past. Before I played this, I would have guessed I would have put it below Twilight Princess. It may be going forward. I, I should guess where some games are going to rank. But, yeah, link to the past... There it is, number four. Came in, wasn't sure what to expect. You know, I took six weeks off in the middle of playing it. The boss fight was annoying with the Helmosaur King, but I sort of took a step back and I looked at it and I was like, you know what, this was, this was a great game. Like, it really was, and... One of the best experiences I've had playing a Zelda game for the first time in a long time. Yeah, Link to the Past, number four. Um, a Link to the Past, for me, out of the ten games on this list, I would say best defines what it means to be a Zelda game. You were right. I really did have to experience a link to the past. You know, I was losing confidence in this whole Zelda quest thing, but now I'm really excited to see this through. Oh well, yeah, before I forget, now that a link to the past is done, what's next on the Zelda list? Let me guess. Skyward Sword? No. Wind Waker. So next on the list is A Link Between Worlds. What the hell is A Link Between Worlds? <laughs> 